Hey there, welcome back. Um, if you've been watching the videos, you see that I've been using my Copics for my colorless blender because I actually don't have my colorless and my Twin Touch yet. When I do get this, I'm actually going to get two of these in colorless probably because I want both of these tips that come with this in colorless. But then on when I get the other Twin Touch, I want to get it and I want to get some tips so that I can put on a brush tip as well because actually all three of those tips are super great to have on hand. Now I want to show you a great way to fix mistakes. Now I went in and right here I just added that green right there right outside of the image because you can take your colorless blender and when things like that happen you just take it and you're just going to push it back into the image. Now, if I had my heat tool right here, I'd zap my heat tool on it, and that would dry that pretty much instantly, and then I would hit it again. I would just do that again, then hit it with my heat tool, and I would continue to do that until the color was gone, and eventually you won't have any color left right on that edge. So that's one of the great, great things about these colorless blenders is that they fix your boo-boos almost instantly. Um, you've also seen that you can go in and soften lines with them which is super nice to do so these are definitely tools that you want on hand another tip is that I take my uh, Marvy pen this one's my Copic that I have right here and I go over my blacks I really want those eyes to pop and I might you know want this to pop a little bit more and some of these areas so I'll just drop in some of that black again on top of those areas um, before I go in and add, on this one I've gone in and added my, I actually used this um, jelly roll, it's from Sakura, and this is the Clear Star, and this is awesome, I use it on everything, You, it just adds, it's like a transparent that goes on, and it's just nothing but super awesome little glitter images on there, little glitter sparkles. So I do my images and then on this one I added some sparkles and some sparkle bubbles on there and then I added my um, liquid glass on top of that to give it that 3D yummy fill. Um, I just dotted on those. I love that. Uh, and here's one that I did with uh, red skulls. They're harder to work with the, the red tone, so I definitely needed some practice with those. And here's the Al from that collection. Um, we'll be doing a video to show you how to do that little guy. Super easy, but he's super fun and super cute to do too. So hope this was informative. Thanks for joining me.